Welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how to create an interior page of a dot to dot activity book like this using two softwares. First one would be a free online software called Gravity Design and second one would be Photoshop. If you're new to this channel, my name is Anna and I do videos on how to create, maintain and grow your KDP business. And if you like videos like this, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and also smash that notification bell to receive notifications when I produce videos like this. And if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. It's very much appreciated. So today we are going to be looking at how to create an interior page of a dot to dot Christmas activity book for kids. Dot to dot books are very popular on Amazon and they sell extremely well, which is demonstrated by the low bestsellers ranks and therefore have the potential to make a lot of money. First, I'm going to show you how to do this with a free software called Gravity Design and the same principle will apply if you're using things like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. So I'm going to show you how to choose the main illustration and what type of design we are looking for. And then we are going to remove some part of that and add dots and numbers to create our dot to dot book page. The software I'm going to be using today called Gravit Designer. This is an online software and it is free to use. When you sign up to the website, you get 15 days of the pro version for free, which is then turns into the free version. Now, if you want to continue with the pro version, it costs $49 and that is for a year. So that's unlimited use for a year. Now, the main differences between the free and the pro version are you can get unlimited storage, you're able to download images at 300 dpi, and you're able to also download the software to use offline. But certainly the free version will be good enough to do most of your projects. If you're going to be creating covers in this software, I would suggest you to get the pro version because you will need to download the covers as 300 dpi image. So when we go to Gravit Designer, you're presented with a page like this and we need to create our page. So we need to enter the width and height. Now, this is very important because if you're going to have a background that the image goes from one edge of the page to the other, you need to add something called bleed because this image will be trimmed by Amazon when the book is printed. So we need to add 0.125 inches to the top border, 0.125 inches to the lower border, and 0.125 inches to the one of the vertical edges. So this means our page will be 8.625 inches by 11.25 inches. So if you're designing something that needs bleed, you have to set up your size as 8.625 by 11.25 inches. So now that we've got our page, the first thing we need to do is to find the main design for the page. Now I use Creative Fabric Code, but if you go to Google and put in free vector images, you will find that there are lots of websites that provide lots of vector images for you. I like Creative Fabrica because they have a great range uh, and I do pay for the pro version which is I think currently is around $29 for a month and that allows you to use them in commercial projects and there is no limit to the number of sales of those projects. They do have a free version and there are many images that you can download for free but there is a limit to how many of these you can sell as a commercial project and you do have to put in attribution to the artist in your book. What I suggest is to read the license agreement to make sure you're keeping within the license agreements and that goes for any image you're downloading from any online website. Always and always double check the licensing agreement. You don't want to fall foul of that because it could affect your KDP account and they could also come after your money. Let's go to Creative Fabrica and search for our background and our main design. 
There is many here that would be appropriate to be used in a dot to dot box. But I'm going to create a Christmas design. So I'm going to put in Christmas and I will also check off bundle and then look through these images. So after going through images, I like this one for our main design and this one for our background. So go to right hand and click on download. Let's go back to grab a designer and I'm just going to drag the background over onto our page. And so I'm just going to position this uh, on the center to fill the page. There we have our background. Now I'm going to make this invisible for the moment. Okay, so the next thing is we are going to need our image. So I've got our main design here. So I want to remove this center part and replace the lines with dots and numbers. So on top menu, click on ellipse tool, hold shift and drag your mouse. And this will create a circle. And let's change the fill to black and remove the border. Now put your dot on a start point of a line. I'm gonna put mine here. And then on top menu, click on T for text and change it to one. Now press shift on your keyboard and click on your dot and the number to select both. And now press alt and drag to duplicate it. You can use same method to create all of your dots. And if you hit Ctrl and G, you can group them all together. Now place all of your dots and numbers on the path you're planning to remove. One thing that I want to mention here is that if you're creating this dot to dot book for kids, remember these type of activity books are usually for three to five age group. So they probably can only count to 10 or 20. So on your design, you can only have up to 10 to maximum of 20 dots. Now that you have all of your dots and numbers, we need to remove the lines. The simplest way to do this is to draw a white line over the lines. So on top menu, click on pen tool, choose freehand and change the color to white. And then increase the border width. Now let's make our background visible again and I want to show you something here. As you can see, our dots and numbers are lost on background and our file doesn't have any fill. So we need to fill inside and corners of the layer with white color. Just draw your pen on the edge and inside of the layer like this. As you can see now, our dots and numbers are visible and they're easy to trace. So we almost finished. All you have to do right now is just to download the file as PDF. So this is how you can create a dot to dot activity page for kids on Gravity Design. One thing that I want to mention here is that here we use an outline illustration 
but you can choose any vector design and change it to black and white and outline the image in Gravit Designer. Next step is to create the same page on Photoshop, which is much easier. So open up your Photoshop and enter your width and height as 8.625 by 11.25 and just like before drag your background to the file and then drag your main design. Let's remove the white background and then like before click on the ellipse tool or press U for shortcut and make a small dot. And then click on text tool here and place it next to the dot and let's change it to one now select both of them and place it next to the line using the same method i explained before i mean pressing alt and dragging the layer you can duplicate your dots and numbers And then click on the brush tool or use B as a shortcut and make sure your color palette is on white and draw over the line like this. The only thing remaining is to create a white border below this image to make dots and numbers more visible. So copy and paste this layer. And double click or click here to open up the effect window. And click on a stroke to change the color and increase the size and there we have our dot to dot activity page okay this is our first page and you're gonna have other designs for your book to merge all of the designs together you can use a website called imatoolbox.com just drag all of your designs and drop it here and click on merge. If you want to put the design on just one side of the page, you should add a white page between designs. I want to mention this again, that if you're going to have a background that the image goes from one edge of the page to the other, you need to add 0.125 as bleed to top bottom and one edge of the page and if your page has bleed when you're uploading your book you need to check off the bleed option here thank you guys for watching and this was two ways to create a dot to dot book for kids I hope this was useful. Uh, if you had any question, let me know in comments. And if you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. See you all in next video and bye bye.